A Santero is a person that does religious art. And it started in the, probably the 1700s when our ancestors started to arrive in northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. I like creating, creating stuff. I, I do my own sketching and then I create what I think they look like. And that's uh, what I like to do. And it, it's, it's, in my, it's just in my heart and I just love doing it. It's something, I worked as a heavy equipment operator for 25 years and I'd rather be doing this. <laughs> I had it permanent and every time I would load it, I'd break it. This piece, uh, uh, St. Francis and St. Clair, I read, a, I read the story about him when she wanted to devote herself to Christ and she wanted the hair cut so she could become a Franciscan. And at that time, uh, she would met St. Francis at the chapel of the angels. That's like I'm having angels on the side. So he, she, she had St. Francis cut her hair. And at the same time, when I thought about the idea, I had cut my chongo off. And uh, I saved that like for five years. And when I read the story, I said, I had the perfect piece of hair. So I went and braided it and I used it for my, for my piece of art. It took me about six months probably doing that one. And I carved every individual piece and I think every piece you make is for that individual place or individual person, you know. And, and uh, I spoke with Father Miguel and he, Father Miguel had told me that he, he wanted to commission me on uh, St. Francis and St. Clair. So I said, okay, I'll do them for you. And then I went home and I, I had this, this piece at a, at a gallery. And uh, me and my wife were going back to Las Vegas and I told her, I have the perfect piece. I'm just gonna show it to Father Miguel. And I had the same friends and St. Clair, and they were together, and I didn't have to do them individual. So, and it had a story behind it. So, it was perfect. You know, it, was like, it was made for that. And it was made for, for this place. And now there it is. She's home.